One becomes two, two becomes three, and out of the third comes the one as the fourth. Do you recognize this? Nope, because I'm not into nonsense. Well, you should be, especially if you're into alchemy. Because a lot of alchemy is just making sense out of a whole lot of nonsense. And by a whole lot of nonsense, I mean our lives. So let's get into it. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Ilyan. I wrote a master's on alchemy and Jungian dream analysis. And I'm a writer, teacher, tarot reader, and shapeshifter. Sometimes I'm a talking head on TikTok, and other times I'm a cat. Now this is one of the oldest axioms in the alchemical tradition. And it comes to us from the first ever alchemist, Mary the Jewess, otherwise known as Maria Prophetissa or Maria Coptia, Mary the Coptic. Now we don't know much about Maria, except that she lived sometime between the 1st and 3rd centuries AD. She invented the double boiler, otherwise known as the Bain-Marie, as well as other alchemical tools, and supposedly lived and worked in Alexandria, Egypt. And this quote, known among alchemists as the Axiom of Maria, has been studied and interpreted by people throughout the ages. Because essentially, this line, very simply and succinctly, sums up the common undercurrent of the entire work of alchemy, and the whole alchemical process that is life, in that everything eventually needs to be broken down and recombined. Solve e coagula. Now let's do a psycho-spiritual reading of this to see how we can apply it to our lives. Jung said that this axiom was the late motive of the entire process of individuation, otherwise known as personal alchemy. The breaking down of one to two is the first step. The original one is unconscious wholeness, you living without self-awareness, in complete identification with your ego, totally rejecting your shadow, and it becomes two when you become aware, as in aware of this unconscious wholeness, aware of what triggers you, aware of what moves you to awe even. And we can make another video about dealing with hero worship if you want. Let me know in the comments. It's just being aware of all these things that you seem to do habitually without really thinking. Now two becomes three when the negotiation happens, when the conversation starts between the conscious and the unconscious. When you start figuring out why you're doing what you're doing, even though it makes you uncomfortable, why you think you can't be like the people you admire. Because the one who comes out of the third is the one who knows you can be. The fourth one is the new union that has been brought together by your new level of awareness. This isn't the highest level of awareness, but it's a little bit broader than you were before. There's a little bit more room for understanding, and then that's why you do it again. This new one then becomes two, and then those two become three. And out of those three emerge a new one that is the fourth. And now your consciousness is even wider, and it's still not the widest. You could probably do this forever, I don't know. I don't even know what level I'm at. And if you want to know more about alchemy, psychospirituality, symbolism, religion, hit the follow button. Okay, love you, bye.